Hello, uh, Shanika, I think it would be pronounced. This is Matthew Robert Payne from Australia. As I was preparing to do the uh, 17 prophecies that the Lord's given me to do tonight, um, the Holy Spirit gave me a scripture for each of the people um, uh, that I was going to do a prophecy over, and the scripture references were to impact them and be part of the prophecy. Uh, the Lord gave me 1 Peter verse 18 to 22 for you and it says knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received tradition by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish or without spot. He indeed was foredained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit in sincere love of the brethren, Love one another fervently with a pure heart. Um, the Lord tells me that you're very pure through this verse. Uh, that you're becoming without blemish or spot. Uh, you're a person who holds your faith in high regard. And uh, you, you're a doer, not just a talker. You, you don't just talk about your faith, you practice your faith. Um, you've taken many years to repent of sins and cut sins, sinful habits out of your life and you're moving really strongly in love, compassion and mercy. You hate injustice, you hate poverty, you hate people being downtrodden and you do whatever you can with your compassion and mercy and and giving to to help the broken-hearted you've got a tremendous compassion and tremendous love that flows through you and through this love and compassion you're very pure in in uh, the way you live your life god is very happy with you uh, from time to time you wonder just how happy god is and god is just so happy with you he sings praises. Uh, there's actually worship songs. Uh, there's a song that says, I could sing of your love forever. Jesus sings that song over you, that he could sing of your love forever. He's just so happy. He looks forward to the day where you can go to heaven and dance with him. He looks forward to holding you in his arms and dancing and waltzing with you and taking you all around the dance floor in heaven and on earth if you can allow him to come down in a vision and dance with you. Um, he's just so happy and pleased with your life. You've seen hard times, you, you've seen uh, things come against you and people come against you. That's just the enemy trying to have a go. Just know that all things are ordained by God, the good and the bad, and God uh, instructs us and exhorts us through um, James to uh, celebrate and count it all joy when we fall into various trials and tribulations because they uh, strengthen our character and you've had your fair share of trials and tribulations and in fact you've had a hard life which allows you to have more mercy and compassion on other people because you not only flow in love but you've suffered and so you know what it is like to suffer and go without and uh, so you're so full of love and joy just um, know that um, the Lord sees you as a pure person and uh, he's very happy with your faith and your state of righteousness I pray that this has encouraged you I pray that uh, you can hit the reply button on your email and send me some feedback and encouragement for myself